Okay, so on next, uh, we will move on to uh, Newby Lab. So who is representing Newby Lab? Uh, Kelly, can, can you hear me? Can you, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, uh, yeah, I can, yeah. Aiden, so Aiden will present uh, for the session, right? Okay. Right. Um, Hello, everybody. Good to be here again. I'm Aiden. Yeah. I'm going to be doing most of the presentation. And then for the Q&A, uh, my boss, Kelly, might jump in and then add on to my answers. So if I can share my screen real quick. All right. Everybody can see fine? All right. Hello again. Um, thank you for the opportunity to present our company, NubiLab, uh, what we do and what value uh, we create. First off, a little bit about our company. We were established in 2018, and we've been tackling food waste management problems across various domains. Um, as of now, we mainly help uh, cafeteria managers to reach their uh, zero waste goals and provide customer satisfaction. Um, we have participated in CES 2021 as well and won the Innovation Award in Healthcare and Sustainability. Uh, we also recently landed our Series A investment of around 8 million US dollars. Okay, so what's the prob uh, problem we address? Uh, first off, um, food waste accounts for about 9% of all carbon emissions. And it makes it one of the main culprit of global warming and environmental destruction. In addition to that, we all know the food price is soaring, uh, mainly due to skyrocketing uh, material cost. And in addition to that, uh, strong regulations from across the world is pressuring uh, companies to uh, essentially waste less food and be more sustainable. And as those companies struggle to streamline their operational cost and minimize food waste, uh, many of them realize they just can't do it on their own. So that's where we jump in uh, to help them out. Uh, our scanners uh, provides automated analysis in two domains, one in the dining hall and one in the kitchen. In the halls, mainly the data on amount of food served, how much is eaten and how much is left behind are analyzed uh, so cafeteria managers can have insights on how much food they're wasting and how users prefer uh, this food against another. And in the kitchen, they keep track of the amount of food they overproduced and how much is wasted in the preparation process. We call it a trimming waste. Um, we analyze these two data in order to optimize the purchase quantity of raw materials on their end, and ultimately it helps them reduce food waste and cut down the material cost. So in order to achieve that, we have three different products. First one you see is the standardized scanner. Um, it has its informative display mounted to visualize a various data analysis that is highly customable. And then a uh, second one is the auto scanner, uh, which is a little uh, overhead bird eye scanner. Um, it has maximum efficiency in, in controlled and uniform environment, like corporate canteens or like school cafeterias. Third one is a mobile one. Uh, it's targeting, it's designed to target a direct customers, and we're trying to maximize the ease of use uh, with that asset. So what problems specifically can we solve is that uh, we what we achieve is we innovate any areas that either deals with or manages food. So with our technology, uh, the field that was once uh, unpredictable, uh, highly dependent on personal bias and uh, past experience, and essentially just eyeballed is now provided with accuracy and efficiency uh, through data, and, uh, data analysis. So how does it apply specifically? Uh, first, we save the planet. Um, so our dashboard uh, mounted on our scanners uh, displays real-time statistics on reduced carbon emission uh, when it detects uh, zero waste plates. So users can know how much they contributed to reduce uh, greenhouse gas. So it motivates them to leave less food behind and ultimately help reduce plate waste. 
And second thing is more about the business. So why do these people leave the food uneaten in the first place? So in a very oversimplified manner of saying it is because the dish provided doesn't meet the user uh, consumer preferences or expectations. So we provide uh, the plate waste data by analyzing menu item provided versus how much is eaten and how much is left. And with this, from our past experience, we have witnessed that we could reduce the plate waste by up to 24, uh, 42%, excuse me. And then there are foods that are thrown away untouched as well. So overproduction of food uh, is generated because there's a lack of data to predict how much food is needed to be prepared compared to the consumer demand. So with our data analysis, uh, preparation suggestions and future consumption predictions, uh, we can help the kitchens uh, reduce about 30% of their cost. But enough about money, um, at the end of the day, it's all about the people. So upon users' needs, they can be actually individually paired to our system or our technology. So once, uh, once they're paired up, uh, they can scan their plate before and after they eat so we can analyze uh, the food types, nutritional facts, and calories, the volume in which they have eaten. So they can have more insight on what they eat exactly. So these information can be relayed to the users uh, uh, on a web platform, mobile platform, and we can also provide them the hard copy on the paper. So in the similar approach, we are currently developing B2C mobile app as well. We expect that we can showcase that at the CES 2023 as well. Um, so it is designed to provide nutritional intake uh, related information through photographs of, again, before and after the meal. So uh, the questions that we get asked a lot is that aren't there other companies that's doing that already? Uh, there are, but frankly speaking, they do it in a much less efficient way. Uh, they need like large scales and they uh, usually operate manually. So unlike these existing uh, players, our solutions only requires a small scanner or uh, either sanding or like, mounted on top. So it is easy to use and more efficient. And most, more, most importantly, it provides more insight and information like food waste type, amount, volume, uh, and it takes a lot less effort. So in the realm of B2B and B2G, we are operating with uh, over 70 locations across Korea, including Ministry of Defense, uh, various schools and major corporations like Samsung, SK Telecom, and several department stores. And globally, uh, we introduced our solutions to Microsoft uh, and Nestle and many other global food service companies. So there, um, one scan at a time, we're trying to save the people, the business, and the planet. Any questions? All right, so thank you so, so much. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. So I, I can see this uh, working perfectly in a hospital situation and uh, where, you know, where a patient, uh, you find out if the patient is eating enough uh, having, getting enough iron, getting enough, uh, uh by eating their vegetables or, or whatnot. What I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about is how do this work, how this works in an everyday solution, because unless you have somebody delivering the food and then picking up the tray afterwards, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of missed data on there. And then that doesn't account for the fact that maybe the beans were over salted or they were burnt or something like that. Do you have like a survey as to, you know, where if they scan the uh, food to, to, to where they can uh, say, this is why I did not eat what was on my plate? Thank you, thank you for your question. Now our business is focused on um, the cafeteria and canteens. I mean, uh, not individual meals. So uh, before we operate our solution, we receive all the recipes and ingredient, food ingredients from the nutritionist. So that's why we have the exact information, how they serve and how they cook their food. And also we can analyze their intake, you know, users intake calories and our other nutritional information. But um, as, uh, as Aiden presented, we are developing our app 
for the individual users, which means that uh, they can use and they can scan their uh, scan their meal before and after the meal after the meal um, out of their canteens or cafeterias. So uh, we are developing that app, and also um, the app is I mean our app is banting on the big data and AI technology that we developed so far. So um, the accuracy would be uh, very high, we expect now. So what you're saying is there's gonna be an app. So when I get my food, I sit down, I'll take, I'll take a picture of the food at the beginning and then I'll eat and then I'll take the picture at the end. And then it'll ask me questions. Why didn't you eat your green beans or anything like that? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Come sit down. And to add on a little bit about your question on uh, salt or sodium, uh, we are mainly focused on macro uh, nutrition at first, and then as we calibrate our data analysis method, uh, we will slowly progress into micro uh, nutrients as well. So I have a question. Um... A couple, actually. So one, why is there over preparation in some places right now? And do they don't, maybe they don't know how many people are going to come? Um, yeah, um, yeah, for, from the, from the uh, food service company perspective of view, um, they, I, I uh, I have long discussion with them sometimes, and uh, they don't know the, exactly why they have over pre, uh, over prepared food. So they cannot expect. I mean, they have to consider many elements like weather's, and if you know the menu is not preferred one, or you know if they have any um, events you know, outside the, uh, outside of the company. So. Uh, they have to consider all the, in, I mean, all the elements that could be happen that is not fit to their, uh, their, um, the uh, users, uh, users number. So, um, but um, considering, uh, considering uh, outside of the elements, we have to consider about the menus and also the, you know, how they combinate the menus in, in, in one plate. So we can we can provide all the, the all, all the kind of data, but um, you know the the things that outside of the cafeteria they have to think about that. But um, we are, we are quite sure that with our data, food data that we analyze, they can um, increase the accuracy of expecting the users' numbers every day. Because actually okay. they don't have any data of them. In, in the kitchen or halls. Okay, I see. Uh, and then I was curious to know if the uh, the scanner requires like a special plate to have the proper sizing, or maybe it's on the stand, so you know the distance from the from the camera to the to the to the plate and on the food. Yes, uh, we uh, we we are using a three D three D three D camera, so we we needed to adjust to the. I mean the the distance from the food and scanner, and also we have to think about the light. But we have all the gears to adjust that kind of height and light and everything. So we don't we didn't have I mean so far we didn't we haven't have any problems from uh, that kind of you know systems. Okay, and maybe last question. Uh, so I think we've um, we've looked at your technology at CES uh, previously. And between then and now, what's what's the new feature that we that we should pay attention to? Aiden, can you can you can can you answer the question? Uh, right now, uh, we have uh, we are focusing more heavily on the mobile environment. So we have we are going to showcase our prototype version of our mobile app. And then with the technology that is put in the mobile app, we are also developing an API solutions. So uh, different uh, mobile app developers and service developers can utilize our technology mounted on their services as well. Yes, uh, something like that. Um, so um, now we have many calls from that companies or hospitals as Jeffrey, Jeffrey mentioned, but um, there is some circumstances that they, they cannot use the scanner. So as Aiden presented, we can 
then we can serve uh, we we can make our like a mobile API system mobile API business model then they can so that they can easily you know take the picture of, of the app before and after the meal in everywhere then we can uh, analyze all the data and produce to I mean pro with the data that the company or hospital can you know use that kind of data for better health to their patients so um, that's very important business in the future for our side. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Kelly and Ethan, for present presentation. Uh, so, on next, uh, we have uh, Evan Lee from Seven.